Hello guys, another video from Darasair here. Um, today I'm gonna be presenting you my, the Lego video I've been um talking to you guys about. Um, today it is the Celeste Mock, uh, from Star Wars Battlefront. Um, so right now I'm gonna be talking about um, this is it took me a while to make this, but um, I had it set up for like a long time. Yeah. Um, so let me talk about, um, what's been going on for, um, with this background, it looks really bad. I know you guys are gonna be like, why is there, like, blue stripes? Um, well, I have a reason for that. Um, one, if you look under, um, my table is really messed up. It is all gross. And it was really dusty, so I had to dust it. And yeah, it's a good thing this is clean. So, yeah, I just did that. I took everything off, so my TV's removed and my PS4 is um stuff. It's on my bed, all that stuff. Yeah, there you go. There's the TV. It's really bad. So I'm gonna be getting a new TV soon. I do not know when, but yeah. Anyways, back to the mock. Um, so let's just say uh the mock. It was not really finished, just the lava part. But you know that I was just like, okay, I haven't been posting the video in a long time, so I'm like, you know what? I gotta post it right now. You know what? I am doing it right now. So let's go on with this video. Uh, okay, so first things first, um, let's start with the Stormtrooper. So this is a normal standardized um, magma trooper. It's really bright, so let's turn that down a little bit. Um, so right here, has a normal blaster, like always. So yeah, you have that. Um, so when I was doing this mock, so I was like, okay, I want to do a little bit of customization in this mock, just a little bit, like how other people do. And, um, yeah, so some of the weapons and some of the characters might be a little bit customized. I'll be going through each one of the characters one by one, and I'll be telling you which one I customized and which I didn't. Alright, so this one, I didn't customize at all. The backpack part, and for this one, I did customize. Um, so let's start with Darth Vader again. Um, so Darth Vader, this part, uh... I did have to paint it because I don't really have the actual Darth Vader. I never had a Darth Vader of a long time ago. So yeah, I did have to make the chest piece. Oh my gosh. Chest piece. And yeah. And I got a, the helmet from uh, like a friend like a long time ago. Like a galaxy far, far away. No, just kidding. Um, Alright, so here's another customized like, thing. So it's just the weapon, not the guy. Stormtrooper is all good. Um, so the gun right here, um, it's the TL-50 Heavy Repeater. And it's on a secondary fire mode right now. Um, I did copy, most of the weapons I did copy off of some guy's um, YouTube video of how to make um, Star Wars Battlefront weapons. And yeah, that's going to be it. And I'll be right back. And then we have um, a Shadow Trooper. Um, the gun I did customize too. I just put like those two like weird cylinder parts um the shadow trooper i did customize i'll be talking about the customization stuff um in another video but yeah i did customize this to make it look more darker because the new shadow troopers look just gray so it did not look good and then we have a shock trooper over here um then this is another customized weapon the tl-50 i mean not the tl-50 my bad uh the <clears throat> the DLT-19, um, I did kind of like try to make it look as good. I did add a jump pack to the Shock Trooper because I always use that in my live streams or during like my other mini clips and stuff like that. Yeah, And yeah, uh, I really like this one. I really do like um, Shock Troopers. I will be making like well, I can't tell you what I'm going to be making. <laughs> um, that will be another secret. I will be making another video about that. Um, uh, so here's another um, customized weapon and a customized um, rebel soldier. Let me talk about that in a little bit. Alright, so it's focusing. But this rebel character, this rebel soldier, um, the the RPG I did copy off from the video. As you know, um, I did have to like customize this one so it can look like it's Harden the planet, and let me put this back. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, my finger's in the way. 
and then we move on to the other alien. I don't know the name. I was gonna have my PS4 on so I can show you and go by like the weapons and what they're called and the aliens, but I forgot what the aliens called. I just know it has a big blue head and the weapon that I forgot what the T21B or something like that. I think I got the name right, but I'm not sure. But that's what the gun's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that, but in the rifle mode. And then it's supposed to be that one bounty hunter gun that Kanan used in Star Wars Rebels. So this soldier has it. And yeah, I was really picky of what weapon I want to use in the environment. And I did have to paint that, the, like the binocular part. And on here we have Luke Skywalker. I think I have to turn it down. There we go. Um, Luke Skywalker. It was pretty good actually. Um, I I just got him in the the Sarek pick one. It was like an old Lego set. And, uh, yeah, I did have to take off the hand though and put the black one on because I was like, you know what? It has to make sense. And then last but not least, we have our uh, my like my favorite alien custom, the Rodian. I did not put the Bespin Wingard one or the Rebel Officer. I would, in fact, put the uh, X-Wing Pilot one on him, but it's like, nah, because what do I normally use? The Bespin Wingard. I will be using the Bespin Wingard all the time, but normally I u always use now is the Rebel Officer. And this is the custom weapon of the the EE4, aka the Sexy Beast, is what me and Johnny Jedi call it. And yeah, so it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the characters. And now let's talk about the Okay, so the environment, I did have to make it more bigger, so it looks more nice. Um, let's do a full 360. I'm sorry, I do not edit my videos. And I don't think I will be able to be editing my videos because I don't know how to do that yet. I'm sorry. I'm still a noob at this YouTube stuff. So, so calm down, guys. But this doesn't mean I do suck. If you guys do suck, please don't say that. Just say in your heads. Don't don't um, tell me in the comments. That's not nice. I mean, come on. Be, be realistic. So on my, like, my regular video. Wait. Uh... Yeah, on my regular video, I did ha I did, however, I was talking about my mock and everything on my Lego video. Um, during that time, I was talking about like my mock, and it was gonna be like long, just like one strip of base plates. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make it bigger and see how many like tile pieces I have and I guess I had enough to make like some rocks so here there's like a more detailed part right here and then right here kinda it was just like a huge block just a huge square and yeah and crates the great part I was gonna make like a door and then show up some like some troopers there but I was like nah I don't have too many good pieces I will, however, make an update, and like a better update video of a Lego video like this. But it's just gonna be talk me talking about um, making more mocks and stuff like that. And that's just a little hint of my new video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please.